Welcome back to Love and Junk, and today we're trying a different sort of product from our friends at Aldi. Here we are. Slow cooker sauce, pub style pot roast. Yeah, now it's starting to get a little bit more, I don't know, there's a definitely a chill in the air, and it's a rainy, overcast day, so we thought this kind of sounded good. Yeah. So, you know how to make a roast. We're making ours in the crock pot because that's how the sauce is intended to be used. So we're going to throw it in with some onions, which is not pictured, but we have some. Carrots, potatoes, the roast. Throw the sauce over it and I'll let you know what we think. All right, so here's where we're at. Veggies have been chopped. They're on top of the meat. I'm going to open the slow cooker sauce and pour it on top. All right, so here we have it. I cut open the sauce pouch, poured it on top, stirred it all up. Now it's time to pop the lid on and see how this guy turns out. I am cautiously optimistic. I mean, I love a good roast, so does John, so I'm hoping this is going to enhance <laughs> uh, what we normally do. Normally we would just season ourselves and put a little bit of stock or liquid in this. There's no additional liquids needed, just this sauce mix, so we'll see if we like it as much as how we normally make it or better. I'm excited to find out. Dinner is ready, and so is my tummy. Yeah, mine too. It smells absolutely delicious. It really does. So it is hot as it wants to be. It's been in the crock pot for know, five, six hours. We did something like that. A couple of hours on low, turn it up to high. Um, I can't wait to give it a try. What does the package? Just okay. Pub style. This is Cookhouse brand slow cooker sauce, pub style pot roast. Okay. So let's see. Looking on the back, um, it says there's 30 calories in it, but that's per serving. I can't really see. The serving size is a quarter cup, so I don't know if that's just the sauce. It's got to be just the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then it just said things you need. Boneless beef chuck roast. Slow cooker. That's it. Mm-hmm. So, it's yeah. pretty easy. Just dump and go, right? We always make pot roast with carrots, potatoes, and onions. Let us know what you eat with yours. Interesting in the picture, it shows green beans and mashed potatoes. Yeah, yep. So it's funny, in the States, which is all we know <laughs> if you go to a restaurant a lot of times you will see uh, roast beef with mashed potatoes yeah. and beef gravy mm -hmm. right and then a side of veg or whatever but if you make it at home this is how I would say most Americans make it carrot and chunked yeah. potatoes like that carrots potatoes onions, onions. yeah yep yeah. all right so I'm gonna give a carrot a try I'm gonna give a potato a try Okay, I'm afraid about the heat. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like potatoes that would be in a roast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. So did the carrot. Now it's potato time. Now it's carrot time. Okay. Mmm. I love carrots. Mm-hmm. Those are good. I like it. I love carrots on a roast. Yeah. Yeah, cooking carrots with roast is so... I mean, I love potatoes. You can throw them on the floor. <laughs> and I love potato. I mean, kind of. And I love potatoes. Carrots, though... I mean, so most people like potatoes is what I'm trying to say. Carrots are really one of those things that we just love. We make roasted carrots a mm. lot. Yeah. Um... Yeah, yeah. basilic carrots, you know, maple glazed carrots. Yeah, just All regular right. old roast carrots. So, time for the meat. 
Let's see if I don't know if I need a knife. I don't no, think I do. No, it just came right off. All right. It just flaked right off. So tender. I want to try to get it in. The... Oh yeah, let's slop it in some juices. Yeah. So no liquid that we had to add. No. Um, just the sauce. Ready? Go. All right. So Crock-Pot by nature usually gets things pretty um, moist, I would say. Mm -hmm. Sorry if that's a trigger word for you. Um, this is super moist. Now, I didn't season it additionally. Some people don't like that, but when we're trying a product, right. we typically don't um, add anything to it because we want to see how... How it is, How, yeah. yeah as we try is. to do it as the uh, directions indicate. So, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, you want to season it a certain way or whatever, however you, you do your roast. Um, but, and, and we do things differently as well, but we just want to make sure that we follow the directions. And... Yeah, yeah. So according to the package directions, they did not say anything about adding veg, but we knew we wanted to have that. We got a smaller roast, added in more vegetables. I think that is seasoned very well. I still think I want to add a little salt and pepper to my yeah, plate. Yeah, for sure. But not a ton. It's seasoned very nicely. It's super savory. Yeah, great flavor, great beef flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't remember how much that little packet is. We'll we'll look it up and we'll pop it in here. Whatever it was, um, it was worth it. A couple of bucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Very, very easy to do. Uh, it's delicious, great flavor. I, I would do it again for yeah. sure. Yeah, way to go, Aldi. Yeah. <laughs> we're not surprised, are we? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we're big fans of almost everything we end up getting from Aldi. I've said this before, I feel like they're a little bit more choosy with what they yeah. choose to put on their shelves. That's a good product, and I feel like, I know, there was another one, oh, and I yeah, can't remember two. now what it was. I don't know like either. A, it was different. It might have been a pork. It might have been a pulled like a pork, pork I yeah, think, kind of been. thing. So um, maybe we'll give that a try too. Let us know if you have seen this in your local Aldi, and if you have or want to, give it a try. Um, I highly recommend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we tried it right out of the crock pot. There is uh, a lot of liquid there. We didn't have to add any, so it would make for a great gravy. Yeah, but, pull everything yeah. out and thicken it up a little bit. Yeah. That's probably what we will end up doing. But anyway, uh, thank you for hanging out with us. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. That's what all the cool kids are doing. Oh, yes. So if you haven't yet and you want to be part of the family, Stop what you're doing and do that right now. Make sure you also hit the little bell Ding. so that you get notified every time we put up a new video. It's every day. We just never know what time. We never know how many. Yeah. You know, whatever. Uh, also, make sure you find us on social media. Our links are in our channel banner. We are most active on Instagram, so come find us there. Followed by, I would say, Facebook. We also have a TikTok if you're into that kind yeah. of thing. Come find well, us there. Uh-huh. Uh, now, if you love Aldi or beef roast oh yes it's getting to be that time of year much to our dismay as much as i love fall i'm kind of i'm always like dragging my feet a little bit to get there yeah because winter is just horrible <laughs> but i love soups stews crock pot oh, casseroles gosh. but Chili. i also am a little sad to say goodbye to all things on the grill you know oh, what i mean yeah we gotta Get we gotta some get more of that uh -huh. in before the season is over. We do for sure. But this is a little hint, a little taste, a little whisper of what's to come. No, John is all about uh, Laura's soup <laughs> adventures oh, in yeah. soup making that I do every year. My uh, gosh. And casseroles. I think and... my favorite that Laura makes is after Thanksgiving, that turkey soup. Well, that brings us to our question today. Ah. Uh, somebody asked what our favorite soup was and if we were going to be doing soup recipes. And the answer is, heck yeah. Soup is something that I would say is my specialty. Of everything there is to make <laughs> in the world, soup not only is something that I'm kind of good at, 
but I just love. Yeah, she's really good at making soups. And so your favorite is turkey, turkey rice? Yeah, I love the turkey rice. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, using the leftovers from Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But I will say that typically my favorite soup that Laura makes is whatever's in front of me. So. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite soup that Laura makes or that somebody else makes for me is always potato. Like a potato oh, so good. chowder. And what I do is typically potato, bacon, corn with little dumplings. I really like that oh, a lot oh too. Oh no. <laughs> now we're gonna now she's gonna have to make that soup. That's right. That's right. Anyway, that's all we have for today. We talked about if you like this and that, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, do all the things, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye.